arriving at Sunset Beach on our way up to Long Beach. And Sunset has this really, really cool, just old sort of surfy vibe that hasn't really been redone. So it has some of the older buildings, which I really love. I, when I straight out of college, I lived just down the street from here for a little bit. Um, it's a cool town, but we're just sort of doing walk in, a little walkabout, shooting the RZ67, this is the Pro 2, and going to be shooting Kodak Tri-X at box speed, which is what I'm doing now. The next row I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push it to stop, which means in processing, it is going to stay in the developer stop longer to get, it's gonna add grain and contrast. And then the next roll, I'm gonna be pushing it two stops. Playing around, seeing what this film does. I love Tri-X and giving you sort of a vision of what you can do with the film and how to shoot it. Because I'm going to be doing different things with these rolls and processing them, I'm labeling which number roll. So this is the first roll we shot and we're shooting it at box speed. So when processing, I know how to get this processed. I send my film to a lab, it's going to be Richard Photo Lab more than likely, and then in the instructions when I'm sending stuff in, I'll let them know process this roll normal, the next roll we're going to be plus one, the next roll we're going to be plus two. So what I'm doing now is I'm pushing this roll of film one stop. It's 400 speed Tri-X from Kodak. And so what's happening is I'm now rating the film at 800, which is technically underexposing the film by one stop. But then in, in processing, it's going to be pushing the film a stop. So it's now a proper exposure. Uh, what it does when you're pushing film, it adds contrast and it adds grain. And then that contrast, it, you're, you're essentially, you're processing the film longer. You're having it in the chemicals longer. And then it brings out more of the light that you lost. really cool on these cameras this is the focusing screen so to get really tight focuses you pop this up and now it's more a magnifying glass on the viewfinder to get a nice tack sharp photo The intention of this video was to go to Long Beach and shoot around downtown Long Beach, but I've literally stopped, I don't know what, this is our fourth stop now? <laughs> 
Don't know if we'll make it to Long Beach before sunset, but that is still the goal. But this is also a creative lesson for like thinking about like, we're trying to shoot these videos every single week. And with shooting these every single week, it's like, where are we gonna shoot? And it always feels like you've gotta go somewhere romantic or somewhere far away, but it's like, to force yourself to have to shoot sort of in your backyard and just drive around, like make give yourself an hour radius, a two hour radius, and you might be able to find some really cool stuff that you weren't really expecting. But we had literally no idea what we we're gonna shoot today and we're just out driving, shooting photos, and I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff to shoot. So, that's a challenge, challenge you. The RZ67, it only goes up to a 400th of a shutter speed. So as I'm pushing the film, should have not probably, should have thought of this ahead of time, but I'm shooting 400 speed film, so, as we get up to three stops, that's basically pushing the film up to 1600. So we're going 400, 800, 1600. So we're now, fortunately, you can go up to F32 on this. So we're now shooting 125 at F22 to get that sign up here. back on the 180 lens. So it gonna be a little further away, but it gives you a nice, really tight shot. The point of this video and really a lot of the videos that we're making is to encourage you and your creativity. I think in any craft, whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it's cooking or just, I don't know, there's so many different creative fields, but the best way to improve at any craft is to do it. You've just gotta get out and do it. And you do it in a way that isn't just like when you want to or when you're feeling the spark of creativity. And the, the idea, it's like going to the gym, right? It's like if you only went to the gym when you felt like working out, you probably wouldn't work out all that much. It's a discipline. And the same way with creativity, you have to discipline yourself to get creative. Elizabeth Gilbert wrote a book called Big Magic. It is probably one of the best books on creativity that I've read. Uh, I'm not even gonna give you the punchline, but go out and get that book. It's called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. I'll put a link below if you wanna check that out. But yeah, so, and then the other part was just, we were shooting Tri-X. We shot it box speed, we shot a couple rolls at uh, push, pushing at plus one, and then this last roll was push plus two. And as it's getting darker, you can see the advantages of doing that is now I'm underexposing the film, and so you're, you're able to get it shot at a higher speed when you need more light. But yeah, again, it was just a way for you to look and see the results of what we were doing. And so you can go out and just make your own creative decisions. But yeah, we are here for you. We're here to just encourage and hopefully educate a little bit on some of these things. But all the links are below. We are a shop, we sell film, we sell cameras, and we're a community. So come be a part of it, Film Supply Club. Links are below, and we will catch you on the next one.